What's up everyone? The Sly and Sonic fan here, and as you just saw right there, yeah, I'm playing me some Resident Evil Zero. So last month we beat Resident Evil 1 Remake, and um, oh jeez, I don't, okay, it's one of those games where you like, it forces you to freaking press something. Uh, but yeah, and um, I'm super excited to uh, play this game, however, I know a lot of you are not probably gonna like this and I'm sorry in advance but I will be using a guide as I play this game I didn't use a guide except for at the end in Resident Evil 1 because I had already beat the game so I knew all the puzzles however with this game I'm going in completely blind except for a portion that I played which I recorded like and edited and uploaded like three years ago um, so, yeah, I am using a guide. Now, I know some of you may be asking, why am I using a guide, and why don't I just figure things out for myself? Well, the thing is, is, in order for I, me to do that, number one, I have to be smart. <laughs> I, I'm not that good at puzzles. And number two, see, with my recording time, um, you guys know I record a lot of videos, I, like, I want to meet a certain schedule and stuff and I don't really like it may seem like it but I don't really have a lot of time to record uh, I only get like a few recording sessions like every week and I don't want to simply waste like an entire like five hour recording session trying to figure out like two puzzles I hope you guys can understand it's because of like schedule shooting reasons where I don't want to like spend all like the entire session trying to figure out a puzzle and to be honest, I put, like these puzzles in these older Resident Evil games are so hard to the point where like I would probably just look them up anyway. So yeah, uh, I didn't use a guide in Resident Evil One because I had already beaten it before. But with Resident Evil Zero and Veronica, I will have to use a guide in order to uh, you know in order to like get through the game. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys still enjoy this playthrough nonetheless. I'm still going in blind, and um, yeah. Let's go. Uh, normal mode. Resident Evil Zero. I like that. I like that Resident Evil Zero. Uh, what's original like? I want, oh no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to start it. Jeez, I, I don't want this. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. Okay, so I have it. Uh, okay, I. This is what I wanted to begin. But actually, no, I don't want it under original. I want it wide. Okay, here we go. Now I can start. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Here we go. So, yeah guys, this game uh, serves as a prequel to Resident Evil 1. This is like... the Chronologically, I'm pretty sure the first game in the timeline. Uh, why is subtitles not on? I don't understand. I, I, I thought they were on. Maybe they just don't have subtitles for these guys, because they're not important. Alright, this looks really good though. What is this guy doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's a that's a cool opening. It's super ambiguous, you don't know what's going on, it's nicely animated. I like it, and plus the soundtrack playing is pretty cool. Now this is cool, we get to be in Bravo Team. So we have everyone here, uh, I think that might be Richard. We have Enrico, uh, Ken Kenneth, oh no that's Richard, Rebecca, 
We have all of Bravo team who freaking got wrecked, if you couldn't tell. What's going on? Engine failure. Emergency landing. But yeah, I honestly, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I wish we could. I I don't know what. I don't know what happens in this game, aside from the portion that I've played. So I don't know if Bravo team is gonna be incorporated more. But hopefully they are, because if we get to, like, see more of them, that would be so cool. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Pretty sure you don't want to do that, guys. Captain, look! <gasps> yeah, we're playing as, uh, Rebecca. For those of you who are unaware, Rebecca was, uh, in Chris's story in Resident Evil 1. So in Resident Evil 1, when I played as Jill, Barry was helping me, but if I had picked Chris, Rebecca would be helping me. So, yeah, this is right before Resident Evil 1, the day before. Well, technically the night before. That's my birthday! Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. That scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. One thing I don't understand, I get it, like, Enrico didn't have, like, a huge role in Resident Evil 1 remake, but, like, why didn't they just use the same voice actor? Because these, because Resident Evil Zero and Remake came out, like, right next to each other. So why not just use the same voice actor for Enrico? Why is it different? I'm not aware if it's the same voice actor for Rebecca, because, you know, I, uh, didn't really get to see her in Resident Evil 1. But yeah, um, I, I beat the train portion of this game, and I played a little into the second portion. But, um, after that, I am completely blind in the story. I know nothing. And even then, my memory is still foggy. I just remember like a few things, that's it. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Fun. So hey, look, I'm Rebecca. I get to play the video game. Alright, so this door is locked. I can't get in, so I gotta go back. Oh, the horror. Oh wait, can I check and uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can check these. Oh, is there like nothing hidden in any of these? Oh, well, I think I'm getting ahead of myself anyways. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to play another Resident Evil game, man. It feels nice. I love Resident Evil. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Yeah, something bad happened on this train. Is what is what my guess would be. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got we're surrounded, but I can just waste this guy. I can't really see the other guy. Oh, there he, there they are. Is that it? Where's the other guy at? He's still moving. I'm just killing all these guys right now. Oh, he's still alive. I'm not gonna lie, that actually got me. Oh, no, I did. What just happened? I thought they were dead. Yeah. Um, but I honestly would expect Rebecca to be just a little more terrified. <laughs> because, um, I don't know if she noticed anything unusual, but she kind of just got attacked by zombies. That's not something you just brush off. You would be freaking terrified. Like, oh my god, what just happened? Alright. 
So do I gotta go in here? I think I do. Uh, oh, this is uh, where I can save my game. Take ink ribbon, yes. How much do I get from, from that? Three? Ah, uh, three. Just like every single one. That's nice. I like it. God, it feels no so nice playing a Resident Evil game, man. I don't know what it is about it. Just playing a Resident Evil game that you've never beat before is just so much fun. I'm a super I'm super excited for Code Veronica, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard so much cool stuff about it. I'm super excited to play it. Uh, what's going on here? What is anything of use? Uh, passenger Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkway Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW Type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Y139, there's still so much we don't know about responses to the whatever that word is, T-Virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of T bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carpace. Whatever. This lab we are going to, were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. What is going- oh, it's July 19th. Uh, no, that's still June. What? I thought it was July or whatever. The day is finally approaching. I'm going more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports that about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus. Can it? If it is. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, friend. It was the virus. It spread in uh, Raccoon City, which, uh, which was not, which was not good. Uh, I mean, honestly, man, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna sound messed up. Getting attacked in your sleep would be better than to be aware of, like, what's going on. Out no, never mind, it wouldn't. I mean, what I'm saying, at least he got a peaceful death. At least his death was peaceful. He didn't have a horrifying end, he just had an abrupt one. Which is still bad, but, yeah. I don't know which one I'd rather take, uh, super horrifying death, or, um, an abrupt one where I'm not prepared for it. Okay, this is a key, I got the train key. I'm looking at the guide whenever I get stuck, by the way. I'm not reading the guide 100%, I'm just looking at it in case I get stuck. Who is this guy? This can't be the guy we're looking for. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me having <laughs> what? You're the prisoner that was being tried. <laughs> uh, classic Resident Evil writing. I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, yeah, we don't. I love how he just doesn't care. This guy got hold through the train. Right. Oh, that's who the guy was. I was wondering who he was, but he's not even a dude in Resident Evil 1. Can you actually give her? Uh, okay, good. I was about to say. 
<laughs> I got my zombies and monsters. Oh, Jesus. That was really loud. It um, actually scared me for a second. Alright, uh, I think I have enough ammo to take this guy. Sure, why not? Come on. Oh, dude, this is... Oh, there's more. There's more than... There's quite a few. Oh, that was a close one. What are these guys doing? There we go. I love how they make monkey noises. Like, why? My mic's been muted. Yay! Well, not the entire time. Just I was just saying some dumb stuff. But uh, yeah, I find it funny how Rebecca just immediately just steals from one one of her dead teammates. Like he's like she's just like, oh, hey, I see you have something there. Uh, I don't. You won't need it. Oh crap! What is the zombie already doing here? Oh yeah, there's multiple zombies. Oh crap. I'm pretty sure it'd be probably a waste of time. Okay, one okay, that's something that's a change in this game that I don't like already. I don't like how whenever you unlock a door, it doesn't announce you unlock it. Because it's no way of knowing if that door like was locked before. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Well, yeah, don't worry, Enrico, uh, if something happens, we can count on Alpha Team to help us, and no one in Alpha Team will, would dare, oh, okay, there we go, why, yes, alright, sweet, we, um, it does say whenever we unlock stuff, it's just for some reason it didn't say something right there for that door. Hi. It's Wait, where were you? Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Yeah, no, that's kind of a. Why would you Listen, ask that of a stars member? You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I, I, can I love how she says a wanted felon. Yeah. I love, I love how she says, like, you're a wanted felon. I think, though, you, what you want to use is you're a wanted murderer who's killed 23 people. Fine. I'm, I'm not scared. Alright, uh, crap. Looks like an automatic door. It's no power now, so it won't open. Okay. So I go up here then. Oh, what's this? Uh, it's like a document. I'm sorry guys, I'm not reading documents, uh, I, I, I'll read them occasionally, but I don't want to, like, waste my time reading all of them. I love the amount of cutscenes this game has, the, does what, though? Obviously the cutscenes in Resident Evil 1 were limited, because, uh, they were just remade cutscenes of the first game, and the first game didn't have too many of those, and whenever they did, it was hilarious. But this game, you know, yes, can have a lot of those cutscenes. Now this is pretty cool. I like this. Look at that. This is so awesome. Ooh. 
Now, funny enough, you wanna know what you have to do? You just gotta run. <laughs> you know what? That's an appropriate response. That's the right answer to something like this. Look at Billy over here. My boy Billy's lit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's so dumb, I love it. You okay? Well. Oh, here we go, dude. I don't know who this guy is. Like, I don't. I honestly don't know who he is. I'm pretty sure they didn't reveal who he was in my short time of playing this. So this guy is just some random dude singing opera outside the train Who's window. <laughs> I love it. Uh oh. Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen. We gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't. Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. You just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these. <laughs> I love that. Fine. I don't care. If you find anything, give me a call. All right. She sort of did like the weird thumbs up thing. You know what? You know what? Like something that's super weird that no one really talks about. Well, like uh oh, character switching. Um, you can now control. Oh yeah, I uh, know this. The character you currently control is the main character. The character you do not control is the partner character. Control. The character moves independently, but you can use R to control them yourself. Select partner in the status screen and allows you to assign instructions to the character. Uh, okay. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. I know how to work it. So, all I gotta do... That's to switch characters. Uh... So... I'll I think... Go. Okay. Oh, so that is to, uh, make them just... Stop. How do I... What's... Okay, with inventory, you can... I'm pretty sure you can, like, give stuff to people, right? Yeah, no, you can give stuff to people. The guide says to give Billy all of your ammo, well, most of it, anyway, so I'll give him some f firepower. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> 